Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. My name is Fafa and today on the menu I've got something so exciting. One thing I've got to say is, before I bring up any recipe I do do my research, I have to understand the flavour. So I'm not just bringing any other food, it is that food packed with natural flavours of Kobay, Kafenya, Mabadi Agba, Nduga, Daga, Uduga, and it's going to be dinner rough rough now, all the time. So, yeah, I'm going to go, 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 who says that? It's only me, in Didi Bani Baba. Let's go into the kitchen. Now we're going to shin that again. Spoon Inspired by my favorite Ghanaian street food, I have got some sea bass here. But for this recipe, you can use any fish that you prefer. You can get your local fishmonger to de skill and cut your fish for you, or equally, you can do that yourself. Anyway, I've done that, the fish is cleaned, and I am dividing this into three equal parts. Some people prefer the middle part of the fish, the tail, and others prefer the head as well. Yes, absolutely, there's a skill to eating, you know, the head of the fish, and it's incredible. Don't go ew on me, no. <laughs> anyway, so I'm adding my salt to taste, as you can see here. Reason is, I'm going to be frying this fish and it's going to be crispy on the outside and it's going to be nice and moist in the middle and I'll be serving it with something incredible. Of course, you know me in infusion, so I have got some dried rosemary that I've sprinkled over the fish and now I'm also sprinkling my flour and I have used my corn flour here um, just so I can get that beautiful crispy flavour. You see, there's a okanae gro. Na eh, middle na yet but they fine na yet moist eh eh. Ig blow mala buddy. But you better lie up outside. I know what crispy as I go back. What count on a bite in Twitter? That I go but eh eh. Let me because inside I love soft gola moist. Count on you know put no more on ang 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 no meaning or no. So that I just need your attention. Yeah, very sad to put it. Look at can me if you he can say. No need go ask him. Don't need my. My fried low and it low half a crispy, and it gets very crispy on our but inside they very be they fine, they very moist, and they will taste to lower than J flavor. It won't mean for your booty, but then John Agish me rule for she rules it <laughs> anyway. So now, now that I've done, I'm going to leave that on the side and I'm going to concentrate on my oil. So, this is an old oil that I'm reusing. And hence I have got my old herbs and like, you know, parts of the onions and chili. And I'm just adding that to it to allow it to fry. So what that does is it revives um, the flavor of the oil, but also equally adds their flavor into the oil. So you see, I am not throwing anything away. You can even see the skins of the onions in there. You've got the thyme and my chili in there. So it's just going to be infusing. And also this is a great indicator that, you know, the oil is perfect and hot for you to then fry your fish. So at this point, and I can see that it's bubbling and it's nice, I'm going to gently add my fish to the oil. And I'm going to be frying these bad girls. Yes, it's so easy, definitely. This is like a no fuss thing, but then again, every step is always infused with flavors. So you've got the rosemary that, you know, I did add to the fish. And of course, I'm using the corn um, flour here. So yeah, it's just going to be nice and crispy and light, exactly how I like it. And I'm going to be frying it for three and a half minutes on each side. You can see that the crust is forming. Look at that. And what I love is like, you can see the time's actually stuck to some of the fish as well. So when you're biting into this, you're not just biting into the other fish, you're biting into that into the fish. Yeah? And I'm not a tough one. And I love how delicate it looks. Even though it's not, it's packed with flavors, of course. But I just love it and it's rustic in its entirety. Mm. Me and I did talk chow, but I've not actually told you guys what I'm making, but I'm sure you might have a slight indication because I've got my sweet potatoes, I've got my shallots, habanero chili, my Thai red chili, 
I've got ginger garlic, I've got some tomatoes, some green chili and my onion flowers which you can use your normal spring onions for. So yeah, I'm going to use my potato peeler to peel this. Now this is the Japanese version of sweet potatoes which is incredibly sweet. Um, normally in the UK when we talk about sweet potatoes, you do refer to the orange ones. But these are incredible, they're readily available in most African grocers and Asian grocers as well. And um, do try it because yes, they are definitely very sweet. Now in Ghana, we do use it also for like a sweet potato porridge, which is also favorite. I think it's about time I made that actually. Yeah, I have made a lot of recipes in terms of potage, but not this. Now one thing you should notice about this version is once you peel it, it tends to darken. So you have to be very quick and then you can actually put it in salty water. Um, but I'm doing something different. I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees and I'm just going to roast these. Normally one would fry it, but then again, you know, it's in Dubai for far. I want to multitask, you know, the fish is frying. So yes, we're just dealing with the potatoes now. So I've added a little bit of salt and now I'm going to add some coconut oil, which is my extra version organic coconut oil from Vita Coco and thanks to Selassie yes I do have um, my supply <laughs> so I've added a dollop and all I'm going to do is just place this in the oven for about 20 minutes and it will be nice crispy and just jet now halfway through the cooking which will be 10 minutes I will take the sweet potatoes out of the oven and I'm going to turn it round because of course I did add the coconut oil and that's going to soak through the bottom part. So I have to make sure that the top part, which almost looks crispy anyway and slightly dry, also gets that infusion. So you can tell, like, yeah, I'm just like turning that as you can see, it's just a little bit fiddly. But what I love about this is, especially when I bake it, um, I love that candy-like texture that it has. So it is crispy on the outside, but it's absolutely nice and moist in the middle. So you see exactly how I've described my fish as well. You see, so look at that. Yes, and I love that deep color. It goes for that deep buttery color that you can see here. Yeah, this is not any other food. This is in Dubai for fun. I will go in. So I am going to place this back in the oven and I'm just going to roast it for further 10 minutes and it will be nice and crispy whilst I move on to my fish. So, if this is your first time, you're welcome and thank you very much for tuning in to this channel. And I hope I do not disappoint you. So back to the fish, that is frying just perfectly and it's now time for me to take it out. So you can use your strainer to strain the excess oil that comes out of it as you can see here or you can actually just blot it on the kitchen towel, that's perfect. That is just incredible. Look at their indentation, look at how the rosemary, the dry rosemary have stuck into that fish and you can see it's still bubbling and you can see that beautiful crispy outer layer of it. And I love the rustic nature of this. Look at that fish head, they're like, yes, oh, single, single, praise <laughs> Hey, <laughs> and look at this, hey. This on its own with a really lovely, refreshing, you know, watermelon juice, or a glass of Prosecco, why not? This time, you all have sussed out exactly what I'm making, and I have to make the classic Ghanaian raw pepper. When we call it raw pepper, it doesn't mean just pepper on its own, it is infused. So I have got my tomato, my habanero chili, shallots, ginger and garlic that I have blended. Ideally, one would use the earthenware clay pot with internal ridges, which is locally known as the asanka, to grind this. But Charlie, ah, you paint some. This is like a bish bash bosh dish, even though it's quite extended. But then again, you've got sort of three recipes in one going through. So here we have our pierced to piece of stones. Now, awful zimibi, awful la gengbina, awful bamunya, mawova, awo, shinadiganza, and togbana fifilai. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and the notification button which means each time I upload a video you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing. I don't want this, so absolutely not. <laughs> So now we're going to be infusing some flavors. Yes, we've done the raw pepper, you know, we've mixed it, we've added a bit of salt to it as well. I failed to mention that and blended it. So yes, that's nice. Now I'm just going to melt my coconut oil. Why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. 
Now, this is inspired by, you know, when you make a work repair and you pour that whole sardine oil over it with the sardine and stuff. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to create here, but with my own twist. So now that the oil has melted nicely, all I'm going to do is just add my, you know, onions. So these are the shallots uh, that are finely sliced. So this is going to be on a high heat um, because I wanted to just quickly infuse. I've got my green chili as you seen here. Now, alternatively, if you don't have access to the shallots, um, you can use your spring onions. Um, but I love the green color as well of the green chilies. And the green chilies that I've used here are mild um, because, of course, I've got my habanero chili that I've used for the raw pepper here. And I'm just going to drizzle this beauty over it. Now don't tell me your mouth is not watering. Raw pepper sauce is more shenanigans. Now what's the thing? Like I just said 2019 in Diago. But hey, me in Kenya, I get what was she? Must be now me the alpaya de. Me ma fa 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 mo. Unto do a me wo me ko jim. E unto mo ko ma. If if you have never served. appreciate you guys a lot you know combining my everyday job which is like my normal nine to five job and this it's not easy but you know we're doing it so yeah sometimes I don't reply to the comments it's just because I've had a busy week but I will catch up with it most definitely so yes me love you guys I appreciate each and every one of you recap of this week's recipes you have got your watermelon lemonade which is refreshing and you've got that ultimate flavor packed special jollof rice recipe as well which of course i created that amazing coleslaw recipe that is a must try and if you do remember i made the goat stroganoff yes the goat stroganoff and this amazing slow cooked shot beef rib recipe these are all recipes that you'd find on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in dudubaifafa. I'll leave links to all the recipes and yes, um, in the description box below. So do check it out. Until next time, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful. And thank you for watching. I love you for you.